Hello friends, I am here to talk to you about percussion welding or percussive welding. First of all, we want to know about what is welding. We studied in earlier classes. Welding is the joining of similar metals by using an electrical uh, voltage difference or electrical arc. Then uh, welding is classified into so many types. One of the types of the welding is percussive welding or percussion welding. Percussion welding is similar to flash welding except the arc is produced by rapid discharge of electrical energy across the gap between ends of the workpiece. Then uh, we uh, know that working uh, percussion welding is using uh, electrical energy in a sudden impact, sudden uh, type. So the advantages of percussive welding is it uses only little time. Percussive welding is a resistive welding that blends dissimilar objects. That, that, that is the difference between uh, common welding and percussive welding. It uses a dissimilar uh, object that is a steel and a iron. That's why it can be welded uh, by percussive welding. Percussion welding creates a high temperature arc that is formed a short quick electrical discharge. Immediately following the electrical discharge, pressure is applied which for, uh, forges materials together. The type of uh, the type of joining uh, brings a material together in a percussive manner. We can uh, explain the percussion welding in a small diagram. This is a, a hammer or impact hammer. Then the workpiece. This is the workpiece. A workpiece is a, a fixed in a. Fix it in a anvil. This is anvil. This is workpiece. Hammer. And the last one is current pulse or current pulse pulse. And the current is connected to the workpiece. A, short, a high current in a short time is applied on the workpiece. Then the workpiece, uh, due to the arc form, the workpiece becomes uh, uh, joined. And the, uh, it is done by also hammer. Hammer is uh, impacted on the workpiece in a short time. Then the work, uh, two metals join quickly. Percussion welding is a type of resistance welding that blends to similar metal together. Percussion welding creates high temperature arc that is formed from a short quick electrical discharge. Immediately following the electrical discharge pressure is applied which forges the material together. This type of joining brings the material together in a percussive manner. Percussion welding is similar to flash welding and upset welding but is generally considered to be more complex. It is considered to be more complex because it is used an electrical discharge at the joint followed by pressure being applied to join the material together. Percussion welding is used to join the similar metals together or used when flash is not required at the joint. Percussion welding is used on materials that have small cross-sectional area. Friends, now we are familiar with the percussion welding. Uh, now we can see more about, more deeply about the percussion welding. Here, we have a schematic diagram of percussion welding. Uh, let's uh, look into that. Uh, now we know that percussion welding is done by uh, applying an electric charge, electric arc to the workpiece along with the, uh, the in sudden impact of force. That is electric charge is given by charging unit. Charging unit is carried out to a rectifier, a main capacitor. And uh, here we have a switch. This is the arrangement of the workpiece that is two dissimilar, dissimilar metals. That is the uh, speciality of this welding. We, here we are joining two dissimilar metals. That is here the two workpiece. Now let us see the work pro, uh, working process of the uh, percussion welding. Uh, the process is quite similar to upset welding and flash welding but is used for welding parts of the same geometry and cross section. In this process, arc is produced by very rapid discharge of this carried out to sudden 
impact of pressure in percussion welding two pieces are welded by high intensity short duration are followed by very rapid pressure or percussive impacting of the work piece the molded surface are then squeezed together by collision and some of the metal is forced out to side of the joint more about the percussion welding in this process arc is produced arc is produced by very rapid discharge of stored electric energy across a rapidly discharging air gap which is immediately followed by application of pressure and the parts uh, parts are brought together in progressive percussive manner there are three different uh, methods of arc in initiation in percussion welding that is low voltage with uh, drawn arc high voltage breakdown and ionizing by a fusing tip with each method the energy source is bank of capacitors which is charged by a variable voltage transformer come rectifier unit and a simple diagram of the setup is first one is low voltage drawn arc method in low voltage arc method a low voltage cap capacitor is used and the work piece are initially kept in contact but they are separated by a electromagnetic device at the commencement of energy discharge when the work piece are melted adequately they are brought together under impact that is low voltage electric arc method in high voltage breakdown of gap the piece to be joined are connected to the capacitor and are brought together by spring or pneumatic pressure as the gap reduces to the breakdown level the arc is initiated and the uh, superficial melting takes place before the piece are brought together under impact the voltage rejected in this method are of the order of 10 raised to 3 volt which being lethal the process best handled in automatic mode this process is widely used for connecting wires to electric equipment the wire is usually in a coil form and is spread automatically and cut to size before feeding in next part the process is very rapid for example 1 mm diameter wires with a charge voltage of 1000 volts are brought together at a velocity of 1 meter per second within a duration of less than 100 microsecond percussion welding is particularly uh, good for joining small diameter wires even with the widely different properties of Uh, 50 to for uh, 50 to 400 mm diameter in electronic industry also this process can be used for welding parts with a pinpoint type projection formed of point into the parts this location the heat at the small area so that parts are welded instantly due to melting and vaporization at the projecting areas today i'm going to demonstrate the speed and ease of setup of the percussion welder i have stranded copper wire solid hasoy wire and a weld schedule. First I'm going to load the hastaloy wire into the stationary wire holder. The copper wire into the movable wire holder. And ground the copper wire because it's insulated. Now I'm going to set my weld schedule. 51 volts for the actuator. 1.1 millisecond delay. 93 volts for the weld pin. Two caps, negative polarity, long pulse, regular mode. I'm going to verify that I have 10 thousandths of an inch for a gap. I'll line the weldments. And weld. Now we're going to zoom in on the weld. Percussion welder, change what's possible. Advantages of percussive welding are three. The first one is it is takes place in a very limited time. That is the main advantages of percussive welding. The other one is uh, hardened surface may be uh, welded without any defect or without any uh, form of any leak. And another one is little damage to workpiece. Workpiece is uh, damaged in a little manner. That is the uh, another advantage of. Focusing, bending.